Welcome back, Nerd Squad. My name is Royal Destroya, and this is Top 10 Nerd. The Jade Giant has been gracing the pages since 1980's Savage She Hulk and has never quite reached the peak of fame like her cousin Bruce Banner has. However, Jennifer Walters is a very interesting, humorous, and unique character all on her own, and more people should pick up a She Hulk story and join in on the fun. So let's take a look at the Top 10 She Hulk Surprising Facts. Number 10 spot is why she was created. The Incredible Hulk TV show was extremely popular in the late 70s, and Marvel began to worry that the show's executives may get the idea of capitalizing on Hulk's success and spreading to a wider demographic, that is, the female population. So, in order to prevent someone else from getting the rights to a female Hulk character, Marvel went ahead and created one themselves, beating CBS in the race. Similar to what happened with Spider Woman, sadly, both female versions have taken a backseat to their male counterparts, kind of what happens when you're just an afterthought. Next at number 9 is David Goyer's words on She-Hulk. David Goyer, who you may recognize as the guy who worked on the writing of the Dark Knight trilogy, Man of Steel, and Batman vs Superman, had some really strong things to say about the character. In one interview podcast, he stated she was basically a giant green porn star that only the Hulk could f Damn, way to demean the lady. This of course sparked some outrage, even from Stan Lee himself, who stated she was never meant to be just a love interest, and definitely not to the Hulk. More on that later, but forget about it for now, thanks. In the number 8 spot we have her grey version. Just like Bruce Banner, She-Hulk also has a grey version that changes her up a bit. Introduced in Sensational She-Hulk number 15, this version of Walters is much less intelligent and much more ready to punch stuff. This state is triggered by severe stress, such as her little quibble with Thanos in Civil War, or when her cousin kicked the bucket for a while. She must fight to keep this persona in control, just like Bruce is constantly warring with his own Hulk, and to think she made Green look so great. I'd say she rocks the gray too if it wasn't so detrimental to her health. Up in number 7, she is a UCLA alumni. All of you who attended the University of Los Angeles, California can say that She Hulk is a famous alumni member of yours. She attended the UCLA School of Law and became a criminal defense lawyer, a fact alone that probably makes her even more scary than the Hulk. I can only Imagine how she felt when her poor cousin was launched into space with that due process or fair trial. Coming in at number 6 we got her wrestling career. She's so well known for her law career that writers tend to keep in line with this backstory. However, in the Spider Gwen universe, Walters tries her hand at a very different profession. In the Spider Gwen comic she is a pro wrestler, one who attends Gwen's high school as part of a charity event. Pin her to the mat and she will donate funds to an orphanage. She actually threw the match so that she would lose, proving again that she's not just mean and green but also a generosity machine. Next up at number 5, she knows American Sign Language. Something that I would love to learn but would probably need to go around everywhere with a cheat sheet realistically. Walters indeed knows ASL and has used it to communicate with her deaf acquaintances effectively and also quite covertly, as she did when conveying a subtle message to Hawkeye that he was going to meet his doom shortly. Not like everyone around wouldn't have noticed the hand movements and wondered what was going on. See, sign language has so many neat uses, they should teach that in schools. Up next in number 4, we have at breaking the fourth wall. Deadpool gets all the praise for providing comic relief with his fourth wall shattering humor, but if you were looking for another character who does this just as well, She-Hulk is your gal. Her comic awareness began even before Deadpool's in 1989's Sensational She-Hulk, and features silly antics such as tearing the page or speaking to the reader, or even firing the narrator of her story. Yep, pick up Heroes for Hire number 14 if you want to see some of the best of She-Hulk. In the number 3 spot we have the failed adaptations. If you are wondering why Hulk got a bunch of live action movies and his cousin did not. Well, people did try. The first attempt was planned in the 80s and was to take place after 1977's The Incredible Hulk. However, investors weren't particularly interested and this was before the time Marvel had the giant budget. Then there was an attempt in 1989 for a made for TV film where she would star alongside Hulk and that was shot down as well. Coming in at number 2 is The Ideal Actress. In an attempt to procure investors, Marvel announced Red Sonja actress Bridget Nielsen to the role of She-Hulk and even featured her in photos to promote the pitch to the people with the big bucks. But according to Marika Tamaki, the writer at the helm of Jen's solo series, Hulk Volume 4, Rosario Dawson would make the perfect She-Hulk. She was inspired by this photoshop job and honestly we couldn't agree more. All the more reasons to get to work on a movie that will actually happen this time around. And finally, in the number one spot we got her incestuous relationship. Remember how I said Walters was never intended to be a love interest for the Hulk? Yeah, that went out the window in Old Man Logan. Rather than the intelligent woman she is, she does something really dumb and really disturbing and gets 
down and dirty with her own cousin. Together they produce a clan of idiot baby hulks who went on to become the Hulk gang. Even if your cousin was the only person you could possibly mate with, please think twice before you do this. So those are the top 10 She-Hulk facts. Let me know in the comment section down below who you want facts on next. My name is Rory Destroya, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another nerdy list.